It's the night before. My name's Nick Majerison, right? Let's get this guy on the air. Uh, his name is Richard Hall. Uh, he's uh, He does a website, www.richplanet.net. In fact, he is the guy who got David Cameron to come out with the following uh, announcement. He said that if he was to become Prime Minister, he will, if there's any truth in the extraterrestrial phenomena, he will disclose it. He'll come out with the truth. Let's uh, get Richard Hall on the air. Richard, thanks for joining us. Hi, Nick. Thanks very much for having me back. So, listen, I want to grill you on the subject of... Alien implants, extraterrestrials implanting technology into human beings. Is that real? It certainly is. Um, now, one of the world's leading researchers in this field is somebody called Dr. Roger Lear, uh, who lives in uh, the United States. And he's actually a, a podiatric uh, surgeon, so a foot surgeon. Mm -hmm. Now, in the mid-90s, he was approached by somebody who said that they had a patient who believed they had been abducted by alien beings and they believed that they had a, a foreign body that had been implanted in their toe. Mm. So this Dr. Roger Lear, he was very sceptical. He said, oh, well, I've got a bit of spare time. He said, OK, I'll do it. But, uh, you know, I don't think there's anything to it. Yeah, at that point, I'm guessing he thought he was just indulging a nutter, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and he agreed to do it. Now, there were so many fascinating... Um, things came out of this, this first um, implant removal that he, he, he did further removals. Oh, well, hang on, slow down. So he did find something? Yes, he found that um, the implants emit radio waves at two different frequencies. Now, I'll give you some of the common characteristics that are observed with implants. Um, they're very small metallic objects, so they're about eight millimetres long, maybe perhaps almost a centimetre long, very, very thin, almost like a piece of wire, hmm. metallic, and they often um, have biological tissue growing out of the metal and into the person's body. So they are interfaced uh, with the person's uh, nerve endings in some cases. Uh -huh. um, like I said, they emit radio waves. Uh, and it, when they're examined under an electron microscope, they have a, a manufactured structure. So in other words, they're not naturally occurring. It's not just a piece of rock or, or you know, a lump of... Um, naturally occurring, occurring substance. So this uh, was found in this guy's foot, was it? Yeah, yeah. Now, they've been found in the, in the jaw, in the arm, and in the leg. Uh, and like I say, the, 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 the last, one of the most recent implants, he's still actually removing these implants from patients. I think he's done about 15, something like that. Um, examined under an electron microscope, it, it contains uh, what's called carbon nanotubes. Now, a carbon nanotube is um, basically it's like a hexagonal carbon shape, extremely small, 50,000 times thinner than a human hair. The carbon nanotube is believed to be what, what might become the building block of nanotechnology. So and it's, an, it's an extremely strong, tiny, um, you know, uh, chemical structure. And this, this um, implant was full of carbon nanotubes. In a, in a regular kind of structure it looked like it had been manufactured. Now, oh, Richard, you're turning my head inside out. Hang on a minute. What, were the, what are the symptoms of having one of these implants? Well, all of the um, patients that he's removed these from claim to have had an, an abduction experience. Mm -hmm. So they believe that they've been taken by alien beings, that they've been taken onto a, a craft or whatever and interfered with. And then they notice, a lot of them, they would just notice that they've had an implant by... The, the, they may have just so happened to have gone for an x-ray for something else and then they've seen something in their body and say, well, what's that? And then they feel it and there's something there. And then this is when this um, Dr. Roger Lear has come in. Dr. Roger Lear, um, I heard him speak recently and he said that the last implant that he removed recently, he said that he's got some absolutely fantastic, unbelievable information pertaining to the latest implant surgery, which he's going to reveal between the 17th and 19th of April at a conference in the States. You know, if we are dealing with extraterrestrials who are abducting human beings and then implanting them, mm -hmm. why? What, what are they gaining from these implants? Right, well, the, the initial reaction most people have is that they're some kind of tracking device, but uh, Dr. Roger Lear believes that aliens can track humans because your DNA has a unique uh, electronic um, sort of signal. Uh, and he believes that the, that the implants are sending back information of some sort. Now, he's, doesn't, he's not exactly sure what, um, but j it's, it's fairly well accepted in the UFO community that the alien abduction program is to do with uh, genetic engineering, that they are basically creating hybrids so that there are people walking around the Earth now that are hybridized beings. 
they are not um, true descendants of Homo sapiens. In other words, their mother was abducted and then interfered with, inseminated, and then a hybridized being, i.e. a being which has had its genetics tinkered with, is then put onto the earth. Now, because the mother is um, given a, like a, a, memory, a memory loss during that abduction experience, because this is what people experience, they experience missing time. Um, when I spoke to Timothy Good the other week, he reckons that conservatively at least hundreds of thousands of people have been abducted in that way from the earth over oh. the last sort of 30 years. Bloody and hell. that the implants are, are something to do with the monitoring of that. Basically, they're, they're creating their own evolution with a certain group of hundreds of thousands of people um, for whatever purpose that they want. Isn't now, that similar? Between the story, uh, uh, those stories, and the story of uh, uh, of Jesus with his mother being inseminated by some sort of flying star or something, do you think that that's that was simply, you know, the the Bible story is simply an earlier version of this myth? Absolutely, that's perfectly plausible. That angels, the archangel Gabriel, was an extraterrestrial. I, I firmly believe that that is a distinct possibility. Listen, Richard Hall, I want to thank you for joining us on the show. Uh, so big news on the way as regards alien implants. Richplanet.net. Uh, I want you to keep up the good work and we'll get you on again soon. OK, then, Nick, thanks very much indeed. What do you make of that, then? 0845 688 1052. Taking your calls in a second. 0845 688 1052. It's Kerrang Radio. It's the night before. It's a-